South Africa throws away roughly 10.2 million tons worth of food every single year. And that translates to 62 billion rands worth of food that ends up on a landfall. If you think about that in terms of what's wasted per person, that's about a thousand rand that every South African throws away in terms of food that ends up on a landfall. I'm Bernard Nadir and I'm the CEO of Eggers Environmental. So the idea behind the bioconversion process is that we would source food waste from different kinds of businesses such as hotels or packages or farmers. It is then made inert by heating it up and that also kills then um, housefly eggs and, and maggots that might be in the food waste already. The, the food is then placed into this container over here where the larvae then feeds on the food waste. They, when they reach their pre-pupation stage, they naturally climb a little ramp over here into a container. At that point, we put some of the larvae into another container where we've got UV lights that introduce or rather um, induces breeding and mating. And then we can source the eggs and then start the whole process over again. The amount of flies we would need is highly dependent on how large a facility we would like to build. So we would want to work on about 100 tons worth of food waste every day. And working on that sort of capacity, that means that we would need about 100 million flies. The flies actually occur naturally in South Africa and they are a cosmopolitan species, so they occur um, all around the world. Getting the products from the flies is actually a reasonably simple process. Um, the flies, when they reach their pre-pupae stage, self-harvest. In other words, they climb out of food in order to find a dry area that they can pupate them and then become, become flies. So at that point, we will harvest them. We will send them through a warm water bath in order to clean them as well as end their, end their lives. And then they're sent through um, a simple oil press. The two products that are produced from putting the larvae through the oil press is then the protein, which is a product in itself and then the oil, which is obviously then converted into biodiesel. There is about 5% um, food waste left, but luckily this is an organic fertilizer, so that can be used in various different applications. So the great thing about the biology of the adult black soldier fly is that they do not feed. And this means that they are not attracted to food waste or to human settlements, and they live for a very short amount of time which means that they tend to not carry pathogens like, for instance, the adult housefly would. I have a team working with me. Our lead researcher will be Nina Parry. She's currently completing her MSc in entomology, focusing on bioconversion. We also have an electrical engineer who will then design um, some of the equipment that we will need. And we also have an investment company who will help us source more funding as well as with the financial side of the business. The benefits of using black soldier fly in bioconversion is that, first of all, waste, food waste rather, to landfall is reduced. We reduced food insecurity because we're producing more calories and more protein. And we are also then lessening the burden on our oceans because fish meal is being replaced by using a recycled product then. The way I came about this idea is when I was a child, my aunt, who's a health inspector, actually took me to see a landfall as part of her sort of going around Johannesburg. And seeing what a landfall looks like actually stuck with me for, for a number of years. And I thought, um, in my own capacity, what, what can I do? And I've always had a, um, a flair for recycling, if you will. And in the last couple of years, I've experimented with a couple of different ways of doing it. And then I came across this insect that we want to use in the bioconversion process and it's just absolutely fantastic in what it can do. At Aegis Environmental we hope within the next 20 years to get to recycle a total of 10 million tons every single year. Our vision is to significantly reduce the amount of food waste that's sent to a landfall and then to reduce food insecurity and lessen the burden on our oceans.